Hello, in this presentation, I will tell you how to export Google Sheets data to Firebase Firestore. Now, if you already have data in Google Sheets or some other text format like CSV and you don't want to take the pain of re-entering the data in the Firebase Firestore, and this article is for you. Uh, in this uh, video, I will tell you the step-by-step -step procedure of how to export data from Google Sheets to the Firebase Firestore. Now, the first step, you go to the Google Cloud Console by using your browser, by typing console.cloud.google.com in the browser. You get the main page of the Google Cloud Console. The next thing you do is to select your project from the projects. Over here, I have selected my project as uh, GCP data. Then you go to the click on the dashboard and in the dashboard go to the APIs and services you can go to the credentials and over here click on create credentials and then under the credentials you select the service account because we need a service account in order to access the Firebase data store. So I will create a service account. In the service account you give a service account name. So I will give over here the name is Firebase Writer account 2. I am giving uh, account 2 because I already have a Firebase Writer account on my computer. So uh, when, one, when you give the account name, click on the create and continue. Over here it says account created. The next thing is that you give a role, assign a role to this account. So I will assign in the search bar I will write the cloud data store data store and when you type this you will get over here a list of the uh, of the roles so I will select the cloud data store user not on or viewer but the user when you go to the service accounts you will see that your account is created so this is the account that has been created. I will click on this account and then I have to assign a key to this account. So I will click on the keys and then click on add key and create new key. Over here I will select JSON, uh, JSON format for the file so I will create the file and then it asks me to store the JSON file on my computer so I will name it as my writer you can give it any name and save it so when you open this JSON file it will look something like this so this is the JSON file now the next thing is the next step is to open the Google Sheets uh, this part of the cloud of the firebase cloud uh, has been finished and then we go to the next step that is the step two and in this we open the google sheets by typing sheets.google.com i will start with a blank sheet and over here uh, i will write the data which i want to copy for instance i will write the name uh, designation and for example phone number now this is the data that i want to export from google sheets to the firebase the next thing i will do is i i will i will rename this uh, sheet for instance i will uh, rename it to employees you can give it any name 
Now the next thing I will do is that I'll go to the extensions and I'll click on the app script. And in the app script, you first of all need to add a library. For the library to be added, you need the script ID. And just copy and paste this uh, ID for the data store for fire store uh, data store app and this ID is given in the description of this video when you click on when you paste this particular ID and click on the lookup you will see that this is a file store app library with the latest version of 33 so I will click on add when you add the library the next thing is that you create a file, you create a function with the name get file store with three variables. So I will create a function get file store with these three variables and I will put data uh, uh, in these three variables from the JSON file that I have downloaded. So here is the private key I will select from here up to the end. Uh, copy it and paste it over here and the key and here is the email I will also get it from the from this file the email address it is over here I will copy it I will paste it over here and the next thing is the project ID. I will also copy it from the JSON file. So here is the project ID. So this is the get file store uh, function and it returns file store app dot get file store with these three arguments. The next thing is to create my function and first of all in this function there are certain steps the first step is to initialize the variables so I will initialize the file store variable is the first step and the second step is the get to uh, get the uh, in, 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 in this first step I will also uh, I will also get the spreadsheet name so this is over here I, I will mention uh, how this uh, now what will be the name of the spreadsheet this is the spreadsheet that I have given over here this is the employees name the employees is the uh, spreadsheet name the sheet name and I have given it over here now the next step is to get the last uh, the number of rows and columns in the spreadsheet and then and here is the the start row from where the data is going to be started and then I will define the range the range is defined by typing var sheet range is equal to get range this is the start and this is the end so this is the range I want to <coughs> export to the firebase then I read the values in the sheet in this variable sheet data it will have all the data in the sheets the next thing is to establish a loop and in this loop I will loop through all the data in the variable and will put it in the on the firebase so here is the loop now here is the for loop the for loop is uh, start from 0 to source length is the length of the is the number of rows in the spreadsheet then I go through I, I will define these three variables that is the name designation and phone number once uh, this data is read, read, read into this particular object uh, I will put it on the I will display it on the screen and then fire store dot create document this particular uh, statement is going to write the data on the uh, on the Google Cloud fire store uh, firebase fire store so let's run it now I will save it make sure that you select over here the particular
particular for example if this get file store is selected and i run uh, nothing will happen it, because this it is running this particular function so what you do that you select the my function as the main function that will be executed so when i click on the run you see this is executed and this line of code uh, it is printed it is printed this information is printed from this line of code over here so it means that we have successfully uh, written the data on the fire store firebase data firebase so I, I sorry i will go to the console dot firebase dot google dot com to check whether the data has been written in the fire store database or not we have this implies collection and we have data written in this collection by our uh, our our code so that's it thank you very much i hope you like this video uh, please don't uh, forget to write your comments in the comments uh, if you like this video please click on the like button uh, for more videos uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.